Okay, now we're going to build a neural net. We've already got the data set. I downloaded Simbrain 303. To run it, you need Java. I already have that installed. Double click on simbrain.jar. This creates a workspace. The workspace is where the neural nets live. To make a place for a neural net, we do an insert, new network. This little box here is where our little neural net's going to live. We have to insert a network. I'm choosing a backprop, which is one of the flavors of neural net this program can make. It's going to ask about the network topology. There are three layers suggested, and we could play with this if we want, but we do need to change the number of nerve cells. Our input grid for our emoji data set had eight by eight, which is 64 nerves. The output layer corresponds to the number of decisions that a neural net can come to. It can only tell a smile or a frown. So there are only two conclusions in this case. And the number of neurons in between is really our guess. There is some complex maths that lets you determine how many that would do well here, but a guess is as good as nothing. I'm going to put 20. Generally, I put less neurons than there are inputs, but more than there are outputs. There are no hard and fast rules here. Different shape networks can learn this fi just fine. When I say OK, it get, gives me my neural net. This layer here, right click, rename group, is my input layer. You'll notice it has 8 by 8 or a 64 input grid. This is my output layer. it just so that I can tell. And these nerves here are going to be my smile. So I can double click on that nerve, that neuron, and change its label to a smile. And the other one I'm going to change into a frown by changing its label. Right, now we've got to import our data set that we want our network to learn. We right click on this label and choose Edit Train. And this gives us this tabbed dialog that allows us access to the input data. We have to go and get our input data. We created that in part one of this video. It is in a CSV file, so I can go and open it. And I called that, where did I call it? Emoji.csv, which has correctly brought in eight rows, one row per emoji. And you can notice as we scroll across, there are ones to correspond to the black squares and zeros to correspond to the cl clear ones. Our target data is our output rules. And at the moment, there are only five rules. There should be the same number as input. So I need to add a row. I right clicked, insert row, right click, insert row, right click, insert row. In our input data, the first four rows are smiles. The last four are frowns. So at neuron 85 is our smile neuron, that one there. So I'm going to change that. Oops, I'm going to change that one to a smile, which is a one. Smile, smile, smile. I'm just typing a one in the smile and leaving a zero for a frown. So say it's not a frown, it is a smile. Line five is a frown and not a smile. Frown, 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 frown. Okay, so I've now got my input data and my output data, and I can run through this data to see what it looks like on my neural net. And you'll notice that it has absolutely no idea what it's doing. Sure, down here it's drawing the smiles and frowns. Here it's doing some random thing. And here it's announcing that absolutely everything is a frown. That's only because the neural net hasn't learnt yet. We're going to teach it in just a sec. Switch back to the train. And we have to throw the dice to randomize the connections between all of the neurons. We do that. And then we ask it to iterate. Now, iterate means learn until you're happy with the error, error level. At the moment, the error is zero, but when I run it for a moment, the error creeps down. Mine got to zero pretty quickly. That might just be because my computer is fast. Now that I've got an error of zero, it is pretty sure that it knows these patterns. So we can now iterate through our patterns, and you'll notice that when we go from frown to smile, the neural net is now telling me that is a smile. 
And that is a frown. And you'll notice that it's correctly deduced that by saying that's the signal pattern in, this is the signal pattern out, and here's how it decided to make that. Now, when you make one of these, your nerve patterns will be completely different to mine, but it will still come to the same conclusions. We can also ask it, um, we can ask it to try and determine a, self, a pattern for ourselves. All I've done here is I've clicked, dragged the neurons, double clicked, changed the activation all to zero just to wipe out any existing pattern. Now I'm going to draw an emoji by holding down the shift key and I'm just selecting things which are more or less a smile. Now I'm not using the same pattern as one it already knows. It's something similar to one that it knows. When I double click on the shift clicked neurons and change their activation to a one, I now have described a smiley to see whether or not it now knows if that's a smiley, I can press the step button up here. Hey, it recognized this newly drawn unique smiley based on the patterns it already knows, and it correctly said it was a smile. Nice, right? Our neural net knows something. 